Hi everyone, this is Arkady Freckman, and today a trial lawyer is gonna give you an inside look into a real client consultation. This lady just texted me today out of the blue, and I thought, let's record the non-confidential portions of a client consult so you can see what's important, what do attorneys want to know, and how do you analyze a case, and whether or not an attorney is going to take a case or not. So let's dive in. How are you doing today? How are you feeling? Um, still banged up, still hurting. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. So, what what happened exactly? You said you got hit by a commercial truck on the sidewalk? Yeah, it's like a semi box, I think. I was walking from the grocery store and they were delivering to the grocery store and he reversed right into right into my side. Oh my god. And he and it was up on the sidewalk? He got up above the curb? Yes. Yes. Uh, he, yes, because um you know the docking area in certain like grocery stores is normally in the back of the grocery store. So I was walking home in that direction and as I'm walking I'm like assessing my back. So I, took, I stopped for a second, adjust my back and then I just start hitting to my side. And by the time I looked up, he already hitting me and I'm like Screaming like get like screaming for him to stop, and the guy stopped screaming at him, and that's what made him uh, stop. Thankfully, he wasn't going like twenty five miles an hour or thirty, or so I was going underneath the truck. But it was that the metal part that they stand on to go up and down is what rammed in my side. Oh my god! And when did this happen? You said the eleventh, so this just happened yes. on Tuesday, the eleventh. Oh yeah. wow, two days ago. And where and where did this happen? Um, it happened in the Bronx New York, if that's what you asked it. Oh, the Bronx, okay. And what, what um do you remember what street it was on or what uh store it was yeah. near? It was on um uh, twelve sixty it was directly across from twelve sixty three Virginia Avenue. Okay. Okay. And um Grant Hill um I think it's Hugh Grant Hugh J. Grant where or Circle, whatever. Oh, okay. And did you go to get any medical care? Did you go to the hospital or urgent care? Yeah, I went to the hospital. I had to. I called nine one one. That um, the ambulance took me to the hospital. I got an X ray. Fortunately, thank God, it's no broken bone. But I'm still suffering from like the spasms in my spine. Still suffering from my side, my leg. If I even try to bend down and pick something up, I feel it in my like butt area. Yeah, it sounds like it could be a lower back injury because the x-ray will only show whether a bone is broken. But if you, for example, if you have a lower back injury, it could be a nerve that's impinged. It could be a bulging disc or a herniated disc. That means the disc has exploded and the liquid inside the disc is leaking out, touching the nerves, kind of like a jelly donut. If you squish it, the jelly comes out. But that would only be diagnosed by an MRI. So you should probably get an MRI. We could set you up with a physical therapy near your home so you can get medical care and treatment, you know, maybe like once or twice a week okay. and get care. And, and by the way, how, how old are you, by the way? 27. Oh, so you're young. Wow. So And, and um, uh, are you working? Are you, you know, are you going to have like lost wages or anything like that? Lost salary? Um, I'm on unemployment, but it's about to be up. So um, with unemployment, you have to look for a job. So that was one of the requirements. And right now, that puts a pause on me looking for any job. And when my unemployment wages are done, I, I'm, I'm basically out of like work. I can't work because what I normally do is um, restaurant cashier, which causes mm. me to stand uh, um, daily. I can't sit up too long or else it like, causes my back to spasm, my butt areas to hurt. No, that could be a really strong case. And so, did the police come? Was there a police report and everything? The police met me at the hospital. They put um the report at the hospital. They they said they're gonna do um they're doing a um a hit and run um thing against him because he all he did was um continue his work. He came out, argued with um this guy who was screaming at him like you could have killed her. You over here smiling like it's funny. And he started arguing, arguing with him and saying, oh, did I hit you or did I hit her? I didn't hit you. You need to mind your business. It's between me and her. After um, the guy was talking to me, he was like, you know, take my number, take my information, because I've seen everything. He, all he did while the guy was talking to me and I was on the phone with um, 911, the operator, all he did was reverse 
even more into the into the parking lot, unload his truck, and the ambulance came. He doesn't stay on the scene, so they cl- they're considering it as a hit and run. Oh wow! But did did anybody get his license plate? Or this this truck driver. Yes, yeah, but or- he stayed on the he stayed on the he stayed and did his job. So we was able to um we was able to get him. License, oh, not that was license, his license plate, uh, image of him, what he was. Oh, okay, that's oh, good, wow. yeah, because all you need is his license plate. That way, we could run the plate and we could see, like, what insurance company he has, who's the owner of the truck, and h- him as the operator. So, that should be fine then. We'll, we'll do that search and we'll, that, w- that way we'll know the proper parties to sue. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, you know, the, the best way to do it probably, I could email you. It's called the client point, so it's just a link, and you basically fill it out. It's just like you know, your name, your address, a little bit about what happened, and then you do a DocuSign, like a digital signature, and then okay. that'll allow us to just start working on the case so we could take photos, you know, uh, do a full investigation, find out the insurance, and then if needed later on, you know, of course, give you a doctor so you could get your medical care, and then later on file a lawsuit against the driver and the trucking company, but usually, like, Truck drivers like that, a semi truck, he's delivering. You said it was to a supermarket, right? Probably it's going to be at least, yeah. at least usually like a million dollars or more in in terms of insurance. Sometimes they have excess and umbrella, so it should be a strong case. If you get your medical treatment, you know, we'll try to build it up and okay. get as much as possible. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. Thank you so much. Uh, can you send me the? Uh, can I text you my email and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, text me your email. I could also send it to your phone, but it's a little easier on the email on like a laptop or a desktop. It's a little easier than on the phone, but you could do it on the phone right. too. Yeah, and then okay, it just so takes. I'm gonna send you over my email, and you can send me everything. I'll check it. Um, it's right now. I'm a little. I'm a little busy because today, which is so unfortunate. My son. My son is ten years old. He's going to prom today. And which is causing such a hassle for me that, like, I'm ready to get this roll, like, rolling. Oh, oh, he's going like, like, like a great, like a graduation, like a prom for his school. Oh, congratulations, yes, that's yes. nice. Yeah, but yo, oh, take it easy. You could do it tomorrow, whenever you're free, and then we can get started with it. We could get you a good doctor. Do you live near there too? That same area where it happened? Uh, yeah, yes, I live. Um, I'm, I went and got the groceries, walking home back. Literally just walking oh. to go home. Three, four blocks. Oh, yeah. So we could give you a good um, a good doctor in that area. We have a few doctors that we work with in the Bronx that are really good. So we'll, we'll give you someone nearby. That way you could get your medical oh. care nearby. Yeah, it should be good. Okay. Absolutely. Perfect. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll send that to you as soon as I get your email. I'll send that over to you today or tomorrow. Yeah, I just text you my email. So um, you should receive it from the same number. You should receive it probably now. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, I have it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, and then okay, you could always you, so you could always text me here to the same number, the three four seven five six six nine five nine five, or you know, if you have a question, just text me. I'm happy to uh, chat with you or not, a- anytime. You know, absolutely. and I hope you feel better. Thank That's... you. I appreciate you so much. Thank yeah. you. I, I, I was looking on YouTube. I saw your video. I'm like, oh my god, this guy is like the truth. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. No, I hope you feel better, and no, we look forward to helping you. But I think this could be a really, really good case. This could be a really serious case. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll um, when you shoot over everything via email, I'll be able to see it and do what is needed. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. You too. Okay. Bye bye. And that was a client consult, and you could see from you know what happened. Like the lady was walking home after doing some shopping just near her house. She was on the sidewalk, which is obviously on a curb above, you know, where the pedestrians are supposed to walk. And this truck negligently drives up onto a sidewalk and crashes into her, and now she has lower back pain. So it sounds like a very good case. The smart thing she did was have a witness and also take a photo of the license plate. Because if you don't have a photo of a license plate and the truck then drives away, now, the only thing you can do is try to file a claim against MVAC, which is the Motor Vehicle Accident Indemnification Corporation. And that's like a small agency of the city of New York. And the only thing you could recover there is up to $25,000, which is much, much less than if you know the, the driver, you know the company, you sue the company, and it's a company that delivers food, let's say, to a supermarket, and this driver is being so negligent. Uh, This trucking company probably has a million, then a five million umbrella after that, then maybe a 10 million umbrella after that. And if you end up needing, you know, a serious 
uh, injury, like a, like a back surgery or whatever, it could be a two, three million dollar case. You see, so that's a, it's an enormous difference between trying to get the 25,000, which they don't even give you the 25,000, they usually give you zero or like 2,500 and you have to fight with them just to get the 25,000 as opposed to having the real McCoy, the, the trucking company, the private insurance, and then you can get millions. So she did a really smart thing that she got the license plate and, um, and it sounds like a good case and she's young, she's only 27 years old, so we look forward to helping her.